Good morning, boys and girls. Here's our read aloud for today. It's called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. It's written by Kate Messner, and it has the art or the pictures by Christopher Silas Neal. On this page, it shows us lots of things that you can plant and have in your garden. And I don't know about you, but I sure love gardening. Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's it like down there, I asked. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up the soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks from last year's garden, scoop rustly armfuls and wheel away weeds for the chickens. They squabble and scratch and we spread compost all over the soil. Compost is right here. It's just a way of helping giving the soil vitamins to make the plants grow better. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke and they roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Can you find the roly-polies? Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my thingle, finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful roll. Give them a drink, Nana says, and we pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. As a gardener, I don't like those tomato hornworms because they go and they eat your tomato leaves. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, Wasp are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. So can you tell the difference between the wasp and the bee? Because the words tell us that the honeybees have pollen on their legs. So try to find the difference. And the cool thing about carrots is when you plant them, all you see is the green things up above the ground. And then when you pull them out, that's where you get the carrot because the carrot actually grows below the ground. I weed and I wilt in the sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. And down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me. Yee! Looks like the robin has had her babies. And now they are getting bigger, and the robin will probably like the earthworms that are found in the garden. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and I laugh, drenched in manna's rain, and down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Now this guy's kind of harder to find, but find the spider. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green, be green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket. A beetle, a grub, slugs are scrumptious too. Yuck. But the robin doesn't think yuck. Ooh, these are my favorite flowers. Up in the garden, we pick cucumbers and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats sweep through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. We don't know what June bugs are. We really don't have them around here, but they're really large beetles. Down in the dirt, skunks worth the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. So this is a good thing for your garden because the cutworms are bad because they'll go up and they'll eat your plants. Usually the cutworms will eat it right at the edge of the dirt and so your plants just fall over and die. 
Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Whew! I don't think I would like a snake that close to me. Up in the garden, a wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. I would like to try that one year. Build or grow as many sunflowers as I can and make them into like a little house. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colorful leaves litter the vine squash, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. And down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for the colder days ahead. What's that word called when the animals take a long sleep in the winter? Because ants do that. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. And down in the dirt, beetles burry, burrow and ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. Did you know that all that was going on under the ground during the fall and winter months? When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and the bumblebees, earthworms and ants, are hunkered down hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of the trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. So it's really cool what the illustrator did. She put all these little things that were under the ground, and then she added some artwork to make this look like a garden underground. And that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great day.